Merry Christmas. Good evening and welcome. I'm Reverend Jessica, the Associate Rector here at All Saints in Frederick, Maryland. And we are so glad that you have joined us for Christmas Eve worship tonight. Today is a time in which we transform our song of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel into O Come, All Ye Faithful, Come, Let Us Adore Him. A time when our anticipation of Advent waiting and watching transforms into this excitement and joy to behold the Christ child, to reclaim that promise of Emmanuel, God with us. Tonight we have a special and unique gift to share with you. We have, of course, our long-standing tradition of the children's pageant. Well, we all know it's been a different year and Christmas is different as well. Tonight's pageant was done virtually through Zoom. Huge gratitude to Rebecca and Colleen who helped make this possible as well as the whole family formation team. Huge gratitudes to all the kids and families that participate in the virtual pageant. But besides the virtual aspect, you'll notice that there's something else that is different this year. We've taken a new perspective, one of the barnyard animals. So you'll hear the story of Jesus' birth through the lens, through the perspective of the rooster, of the donkey, of all of the stable animals that gather to behold Mary, greatly expecting child, and then this birth of Jesus in their midst. What is this child among them? This birth of new life. This Christmas is indeed a different one. Instead of gathering here in this beautiful historic church, we are gathered in our homes. We too have a different perspective of the birth of Christ in our lives. We can see this story in a new way as Christ's very presence, Emmanuel, God with us, is born in each of our homes. We get to embrace the light of God amongst the one of the most darkest years that we've had. Yes, it has been one of struggle and challenge and grief. And so tonight we embrace glimmers of joy. We hold on to the light and the hope that God promises us in the birth of Jesus. We gather instead of in these prayer incense soaked walls, we gather at home with our family or virtually online and we dim the lights we light a candle and we together sing silent night embracing god's spirit anew in our lives all because mary was willing willing to bear and birth this new life into the world together we come to adore the christ child together we continue to spread god's love in this world in this community virtually physically at a safe distance in the greater Frederick community. And we invite you tonight to take a moment to give, give generously, make a donation or a pledge for the coming year to plant a seed and to be a part of that loving community that embodies God with us, that spreads this Jesus movement in our community. The reminder of a hope for tomorrow the joy that this next year will bring. We are grateful this night for Jesus to be our companion even amongst the darkest of hours and to birth a new light into the world. So I invite you at this moment to prepare your heart and your mind for this Christmas worship. Center yourself, get the kids around the screen. Come, let us adore him. takes place in the little town of Bethlehem. It's winter and the king has called a census to the whole town. So the whole town is filled with large crowds of citizens from nearby, nearby villages. 
The inn is a hive of activity in preparation for as many visitors as possible who are looking for a warm meal and a place to sleep. We're fully booked tonight. People are coming from all over the country for this census. It's good for our business, but certainly makes a lot of work for all of us. There are beds to prep and bread to bake. I need all the help I can get. Will we be ready in time, Mother? With you helping me in the house and your brothers taking care of the animals, we'll definitely get it all done. Okay, Mother, what can I do to help? Ruth, you can make sure all the mattresses are laid out upstairs so every guest has a spot to sleep. Then you can sweep the hallways and go next door to see if Hannah's mom has any extra flour. We need it so we can make more bread. I hope Hannah's family has enough flour to spare. Everyone is going to be hungry tonight and we want every guest to get a hot meal after their journey. We are hungry too, Father. Do we get to eat the bread? I love bread! But chores first, then we serve our guests. And then we can eat? Yes, and then you can eat. We've just been to town, Father. There are so many visitors. All of them are telling tales of their long journey and looking for a place to stay for the night. I sure do wish I could stay in town all day and listen to everyone's great tales. I can't wait till until I can go on a journey. It's great to have dreams, son, but tonight we need a spare pair of hands. Mother and I are so busy getting the inn ready for visitors that we need you and your brother to see to the animals. Please, would you go clean out the stable, feed the animals, and bring them in for the night. They say it's going to be a cold one. We'll clean the stable. And feed the animals. Off you go, boys. I know you don't enjoy cleaning the stable, but the animals deserve a clean, dry place to sleep too. Oh no, here we go again. Stinky, smelly animals. Who? I wonder if anyone would notice if we just covered it up with straw. Better not. Father seems pretty serious. Let's shovel it up and make it nice and clean here for all the animals. Come and get it! Come and get it! Here's your feet, come on! cock a doodle -doo, have you all heard the news? What's the mood in town? Why are there so many people? Now I heard they've all come to be counted. <laughs> Fancy people being counted. I'd rather count sheep. My shepherd counts me every day. Seems a bit over the top for people, though. Quack, quack, quack. They are making more noise than a pond full of ducks. Louder than ducks? Squeak, squeak. I nearly got trodden on by one of those big horses. Me too. Gosh, you should make a noise like me, then they'd keep out of your way. cock a doodle doo Hey, listen, can you hear the noise? Dog, run out and see what it's all about. Hi, folks. It's been a terribly long journey through the desert with Mary on my back. She looks awfully heavy and tired. Is she going to cat? People don't cat. They just have babies. That's right, and I think Mary's about to have hers. Joseph has been fussing around her like a mother hen. So something's due to happen. Yes, I've been watching Joseph and I'm very impressed. We've traveled for days and days, but when we reached town, it was already dark. We've knocked on so many doors. So what are you and the people going to do? The innkeeper has offered his stable. Do you have any hay to share? We need some to rest on and I'll need some to eat. The hay for eating is in the manger there, donkey. Come on, all of you, move over, move over, make room, make room. If I sit close to Mary, she can lean on me. She looks like she is tired. Ah, uh, it feels so good to rest my hooves. There's an amazing star out here. Makes the place look as bright as day. I wonder 
wonder what it all means. Such a bright star. You're strange, but let's get some sleep as I have to be up early in the morning, as usual. During the night, Mary had her firstborn son, Jesus. She wrapped him in blankets and laid him in the animal's manger. Far off in the fields, shepherds were out in the night. Angels visited the shepherds to share the good news of Jesus' birth. Today, a baby is born, a Savior who is Christ the Lord. Glory to be God in the highest people. Glory to God in the highest heaven. Glory to God. Glory to God. Can it be a Savior? Yes, hurry up once. Yes. We must see it with our own eyes. With our own eyes. As dawn rises, the stable animals behold the newborn baby, Jesus. Clock a doodle doo, look what's new. There's a baby in the manger. How do you do? It looks a bit helpless to me. Where are his whiskers? Where are all of his brothers and sisters? Maybe the mother would like a drink of milk after all that hard work. I'll give him some of, some of my feathers to lie on. They when in turn, he can have a nice blanket. I could eat some straw from his bed. That's not very helpful. Shh! He mustn't wake the baby up. I bet Mary feels a little lighter now. I wouldn't mind carrying her home again. Hey, look out, here come some more people. Sheep, looks like your shepherd's one of them. The shepherds quickly traveled to see what the angels told them. They found Mary and Joseph and the holy child lying in the manger. Have you ever seen anything like this? This is one very special baby. This must be the child the angels told us we'd find. cock a doodle do. Look what's coming now. Looks like the whole town. Good thing we cleaned the stable. After a long day of visitors, the animals settled down with their special guests. Little did they know they slept that night with the child who would grow to bring love, hope, and the promise of peace to mankind. <laughs> 